Hello everyone, so as you can see I've just created a blank S3 Bubble account and we're going to make the connection with Amazon Web Services. So first off you want to go to Access, I Am Connection, Policies, Copy, then go over to AWS. Now you can go to I Am, I've recently visited it, or simply type I Am, you'll see it here. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to create a policy. Okay, and you're going to paste in the JSON that you just copied policy there, review, and we'll call this S3B. Uh, you can add your description, whatever you want. You can see our policies, you can edit these policies however you wish. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go to users, add a user, S3B, programmatic access, and what we want to do is attach policies directly, search for your policy, okay, select your policy you just created you can add your tags if you want we don't need them create your user and you just want to take your keys and go to connection I'm just going to paste the keys in here okay so as you can see I've pasted in my keys here so we can just close the process here and we've got a key set up now we can simply click submit check and what's going to do is just going to go off and we're going to check CloudFront and some other services okay so that's how to make the connection with Amazon Web Services. Okay, so in this video we're going to set up our workflow. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some buckets. We're going to create a delivery bucket. Okay, and we're going to call this um, bucket. We're just going to put it in North Virginia and we're just going to create our bucket here so this is creating our delivery bucket it's setting everything up via CloudFront it's also creating a CloudFront distribution for you this is what we're going to be using to distribu distribute our HLS media okay great so as you can see we've got our S3 DRM bucket so what we're going to do as well is we're going to create a storage bucket so let's just call it S3 DRM storage and Again, we'll keep it in the same region. Now here you can add a life cycle. So this will be the amount of days the objects will stay in your bucket before they get pushed to Glacier, okay? Um, now the reason you, you don't have to do this is completely optional, but we suggest you do it if you really want to save money. To save just having objects sitting in S3 that you're never really going to use because you've already encoded them and pushed them to the delivery bucket, okay? We've got more tutorials on that. I reckon, say, 14 days is a good option, so you've got plenty of time to check and update if you need anything. So let's create our storage bucket. Okay, and normally just create an assets bucket. Uh, and this is just so you can store your um, watermarks uh, and any kind of uh, resources that you're going to reuse. Okay, great. So there we go. We've set up our workflow now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to connect our website with S3 Bubble. So go ahead and copy your website URL. Head back to S3 Bubble, go to channel and channel websites and you just need to add your website here. Okay? So just paste it in and click connect. Okay, great. So now our website is connected with S3 Bubble. Okay, so now we're going to install the WordPress plugin. So you head over to your WordPress website, go to Add New. Okay, just search for S3 Bubble. Okay, and you want the DRM protected streaming plugin. And just install, activate. Okay, great. So now you have the plugin installed. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is upload our first piece of um, con video content and encode. Okay, so we want to go to our storage bucket. Okay, we're not going to use the quick uploader. So it's just showing us that um, a CloudFront distribution is being deployed. We're going to use the Amazon uploader because our file is larger than 50 meg. Uh, simply click upload, drag your first file in, just got a mov file, and leave all the default settings and I'm just going to pause the video while that uploads. Okay great so as you can see our video has uploaded so what we're going to do is 
we can just run a refresh so you can see it in the S3 bubble dashboard our video is uploaded here so let's just head back to storage and just go into our assets bucket let's just grab a watermark and just upload a watermark that we can use for our encoding process now you can simply click on the file and it will copy the S3 URL that we can use in the next screen so we want to go back to our storage bucket that we just uploaded the file to and let's create our first encoding job so let's go to media convert okay we're going to use the HLS template we're going to paste in the URL we just copied for our watermark we'll set some thumbnails now we want our proxy URL okay and now we grab this from the plugin that we just installed so let's go back let's go to a new post and what we'll do is we'll just call this secure and we'll just add a new block we want DRM video and you can see we've got our proxy token URL here so we're going to grab that URL paste it in and we want to use our uh, SVBM delivery bucket it's already selected our cloud from distribution you can see it's in progress so we'll have to wait for that to complete we're just going to use a random ID okay and we're just going to go ahead and create that job so now that's going off and it's encoding our file um, with secure DRM encryption okay so we'll just give that some time to complete okay great so as you can see our job is now completed we can take our player code copy head back over to the plugin and we're going to paste in our video code here and we're going to click publish okay so that's publishing now we can head back run a refresh okay and we are now securely playing our video via DRM okay so that's one way to secure your video content now one thing you might want to do with the plugin is add WooCommerce functionality which we're going to do next okay so now we're going to do WooCommerce functionality um, this is pretty cool so say we have this video now we're securely protecting it but let's say we want people to be able to to make them pay um, before they can actually view this video okay so you're going to want to do that with some kind of paywall but we're going to do it directly through the player okay so head back to your website go to plugins and what you want to do is you want to search search for WooCommerce okay and install okay, it's installed we'll activate it okay now you probably want to install stripe and all sorts of other payment gateways but we're not going to go that far with this tutorial simply just going to show you how to set up a product and attach it to your video player so we're going to go to products add new and what we want to do is we're going to call this um, video please pay to view okay so let's go down it's gonna be a simple product we can just give it a price so we could charge 59 pound not gonna do a sale price uh, what we want to do is let's set a product image let's just use any image I'll use the same one okay we're not gonna worry about categories so I think we're good to go set that up okay so let's attach the product to our player now okay so let's go to posts and we're gonna go to our DRM player okay just give it a second to load and now we're gonna go down to our products so you can see all our products here it's set up a few default ones but we're gonna choose our marketing video click update in and then if we run a refresh okay so what we've got now is a really good way to actually um, monetize your video content so you've got a secure video now what you can do is people go to purchase this video it's going to take them to the product page and you can completely style it however you want it just goes into default WooCommerce um, functionality and so you'll go through the process to purchase um, add to cart as soon as you've added to cart and you've paid 
um, then they can come back it will log them as a user and they'll be able to view this video so that is a great way to monetize your video content right there